Okay, so to add polynomials, there's, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to um, remove the parentheses and then combine our like terms. Okay, so um, there's a couple different ways I'm going to talk about adding. I'm going to show them both on both of these problems. Um, you can either add horizontally, which is the form that it's in now, or we can add vertically. So I can rewrite them in a different form and do it that way. And I'm going to show you both ways, and then you guys can choose whichever way you like the best. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're going to um, remove the parentheses. We're going to do exactly what, it's, oh, what it says here first. Um, we're going to remove the parentheses. So, um, <laughs> so um, this becomes 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 minus 4x squared plus 6x plus 3. And then we're going to combine like terms. So, um, like terms, remember that like terms are the same exponent raised to the same power, okay? So, um, here is 2x squared and negative 4x squared are like terms. And 5x and 6x are like terms. And negative 7 and 3 are like terms. So those are my like terms, and now we're just going to combine them together. So I've got 2x squared minus 4x squared equals negative 2x squared, because 2 minus 4 is negative 2, right? And then we've got 5x plus 6x, which is 11x, because 5 plus 6 is 11, and then negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. Four. And that's it. That's the whole answer. Okay. There's another way you can do this is I can take, and I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to take both of my, let's see, where do I want to do it at? Um, yeah, let's just do it right over here. If I take my first one, which is 2x squared plus 5x minus 7, I can write it vertically. So I can write them underneath each other and I want to line up my like terms. So I've got negative 4x squared there, plus 6x there, and plus 3 here. And then I'm just going to add them because my columns now are all like terms. I'm just going to add them together. So again, I get negative 2x squared. It's not going to give me a different answer, okay? I just wanted to show you there's different ways to do it. Um, plus 11x minus 4. What, what, Ketlin? Did you do the first problem right? Yes. Okay, now I'm just making sure because I'm just looking at it and then I think 11 would be 12, right? Well, 5 plus 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I see it. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is there any other questions? Are we okay with that? And I'm gonna, we're going to do the same thing again on this one, and I'm going to do it both ways. Um, but I'm going to do the vertical way first just because why not, right? Um, so when I redo this, when I write this out, I'm going to write them in order. So I'm going to write the highest exponent first, and then the next highest, and the next highest, and the next highest. Is that okay? Um, and I'm also, since this is add and it doesn't matter what order I add things, oh, uh, no, let's not do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write this out. So this would be x cubed plus 3x minus 5. And I left a gap in there because there's, uh, between x cubed and x, there should be an x squared, right? So look, I, on my other, in my other, in the second parenthesis, I have an x squared. So this would be 4x squared minus 4x. This would be plus 2x cubed and plus 8. So now I just lined up all my like terms with each other. And I'm going to just add them together just like I did on the other part. Um, so I'm going to add 1 plus 2 is 3 x cubed and then there's nothing to add with the x squared so that just stays the same and then this is four oh sorry three minus four would be negative one x 
and negative 5 plus 8 should be plus 3. So I can do it vertically. I can write them vertically and just get them right like that. Um, or I could remember like what I did on the first one. We, um, oh, we um, took away the parentheses, right? And then combined my like terms. So I can find my like terms, which is a 3x and a negative 4x, an x cubed and a 2x cubed. Uh, negative 5 and 8 and then last of all there's a 4x squared so I want to write them in order again um, from biggest exponent to least exponent so my biggest exponent is 2 um, is x cubed so I have x cubed plus 2x cubed gives me 3x cubed and then I've got um, 4x squared Okay, and then I've got 3x minus 4x is negative x, and negative 5 plus 8 is plus 3. Okay, is there any questions on that, on how to add that? We're okay with adding. Okay, um, we're going to go into subtracting now. It's just a little teeny bit different. Um, so what it says here um, is to subtract polynomials, first distribute the subtraction sign, then remove the parentheses and combine like terms. So we're going to do it that way first. Um, so I get um, 2x squared plus 5x minus 7. And then I'm going to distribute this negative sign, right? So minus and a minus is plus 4x squared. A negative times a positive is negative 6x. And a negative times a positive is a negative 3. So now I'm going to combine my like terms. Again, I'm going to find them first. So I've got x squared, x squared, um, x and x, and then the no x terms here. And... Um, so I've got 2x squared plus 4x squared gives me, oh, sorry about that, gives me 6x squared. And 5x minus 6x is negative x. And negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Okay. And again, I can do it vertically. Again, just like um, on the other problem. On the other problems, so sorry. So I write the first one out, which gives me 2x squared plus 5x minus 7. And again, I'm going to do what it told me to do here, which is distribute the subtraction sign. So before I write down the second one, I'm going to distribute that subtraction sign. So this would be 4x squared minus 6x minus 3 and I'm adding it together, once I distribute that subtraction sign, it becomes a, um, addition. So I get 6x squared minus x minus 10. Is there any questions on that? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, so the last one on this page going to do the same thing. Notice they're just the adding ones and the subtracting problems are the same problems, just one was add and one was subtract. It was easier to do that way. So um, let's start with the vertical this time, right? So um, just like we did last time. So I've got x cubed uh, plus 3x minus 5. I distribute that negative through and distributing that negative through, what does it do? It just changes all my signs. So if they were negative, they become positive. If they were positive, they become negative. So I'm, I'm and I'm going to write, I'm going to place the terms in um, in columns underneath the ones I already have written here. So I've got negative four x squared plus four x. Um, minus 2x cubed and minus 8. 
and now I'm going to add those together. So I've got 1 minus 2 is negative 1x cubed minus 4x squared. 3 plus 4 is 7x, and negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13. Okay? I'm going to forego doing the other way this time because I think we've done enough examples of them both ways um, that I'm just going to leave this one just done the vertical way. Is everyone okay with that? Is there any questions? Okay, so let's go to the second page. And we have some examples. I've got uh, five, six examples for us to do together and then six for you guys to do on your own. So we're just gonna keep going. If you have questions, make sure you're asking, okay? And it just says perform the given operation. So whatever it says to do, add or subtract, since that's all we're doing right now, is just adding and subtracting. We're gonna do whatever it says. And I can either do it vertically or I can do it, um, so sorry, or I can do it, um, Horizontally, I don't care whichever one you choose to do. So um, I'm going to choose just to do this. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go back and forth between the two of them. So um, here's my like terms here and here and here. So that means I've got x plus x gives me 2x. And I've got negative 3 plus 2 gives me negative 1. And that's my whole answer, 2x minus 1. And if we look at this number 2 problem, I'm going to go ahead and do this one vertically. So I have x minus 3, and then I distribute that negative through, right? And it just changes my signs. So I get plus x minus 1. So if I add them together, x plus x is 2x, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative four. Questions? Nice, Alex. Good job. Okay. So number three um, gives me x minus three plus two x plus one. Add them together and x plus two x is three x and negative three plus one is negative two. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Same thing, number number four, they're both, um, it's add, so I don't know what I was going to say. So I've got x minus x here, those are my like terms, and then I've got the two and the one are like terms. So x plus a negative x is zero, and then two plus one is three, so my whole answer for this one is just three. Okay, and if we go down to whew, number five, um, and I'm just going to write this vertically, so I'm not going to rewrite the, the first one, I'm just going to rewrite the other one underneath that. So I've got x squared plus 3x plus 2, and it's plus, so I'm going to add them together. So I've got x cubed and x squared minus x squared, that's zero, um, plus 5x plus 3. Usually when I get more than two or three inside a parenthesis, I start doing the vertical one so I can line them up and make sure that I get all the terms. So that's kind of how I do it. And sometimes if there's more than three parentheses, I'll still do them vertically and I'll line the, all the like terms up. It just kind of makes it a little easier. So distribute and distribute. I've got negative x and negative 2. If I add this together, I get x squared uh, plus 2x, and that's it. Okay, so now um, it's going to be your guys' turn to try this, okay? So um, I'm going to try and put them all up there at one time so you can do all six of them. Um, that's right, distribute my negative through, right? So I get negative x minus 2. I'm going to make this bigger. 
So my x's go away and I get negative 5. <coughs> and then on b, it's just a plus. So I've got negative x plus 1. I add them together. x minus x is 0. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Good, Jonathan. Um, here I distribute, right? So I've got negative 2x um, minus 1. So x minus 2x is negative x. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 3. Four. And then D, uh, distribute my negative through, and I get X minus 1. So add those together. X plus X is 2X, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's 2X plus 1. And then... Um, E, distribute my negative through. I'm going to get negative x squared, negative 3x, and negative 2. So if I add my everything together, I'm going to get x cubed minus 2x squared minus x minus 1. Okay? And then the last one, oops, so sorry, is an add problem. So I've got x plus 2, add them together. I've got x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now I know I did all the rest of them, all the these ones vertically, because I kind of like vertically at, at, you know, First of all, you learned how to add vertically when you were adding, first of all, when you first learned how to add, right, multiple numbers together. Um, so it's a little easier that way. And then if I line up all my like terms, everything's already right there. And that's why I kind of like it if I do it that way. I hope that makes sense um, on why I choose to do it that way. Um, so 